Okay, so welcome, and uh, this is your orientation welcome video for uh, Math 142. Now, this is a welcome video for a flex class, so what that means is that we're going to be meeting one time a week, um, and other than that, the material is going to be what we call asynchronous, which means it's all online. Uh, you're going to be going at, you know, based on your schedule and stuff like that, but there's going to be certain things that are going to be done throughout the week. So this is pretty much like an online class, but we're going to get together one night a week or one day a week uh, as in person. Okay, so I'm going to explain what that might look like uh, for this semester. Okay, but before we get into all that, um, let's go through the syllabus and uh, I'm going to basically go through the Canvas website. Now, keep in mind that this is a general welcome video uh, because I use, I'm going to be using this video for all my 142 uh, classes. Uh, so again, this is uh, element educational statistics. And so this is a generally uh, general video that I'm going to be using for all my classes, uh, all my sections and for every semester. So again, make sure you go into Canvas and the syllabus to get the detailed information specific to this or particular to this uh, semester that you're taking this course in. Okay, so now with that being said, let's let's go on. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the student view. So this is what you would see. And again, <clears throat> I'm going to walk through uh, some of this stuff. I'm not going to go through a lot of it, um, just just to keep the video as, as uh, short as possible. But keep in mind that this is going to be a longer than normal uh, video. Um, so, but again, it's something that uh, you need to know for the class. But again. Go through the information in detail because I'm not going to cover everything. Okay, so now this is the home screen. Uh, now again, announcements. So this is what you're going to see. So this is going to be announcements are going to be here. Uh, the syllabus. So I'm going to go through the syllabus first and then come back and we'll go through modules and the and the Zoom uh, meetings. Uh, well, there is no Zoom meeting here, but um, for the assignments and stuff. Uh, let's see here. In fact, I'm not sure that Zoom should not be there. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so home. Okay, so announcements are here. Got to wait a minute here. Okay, so here's the course syllabus. This is where you're gonna find the course syllabus under syllabus, of course. So I'm gonna go through some of this. Now at the top, this is obviously the course name and the semester. This is my information and the class information uh, when we're meeting, okay? Uh, so again, notice that this is a flex class online anytime except where we're gonna meet on Tuesdays from eight to 9.15. I'm gonna go through what the purpose of that class what we're going to be doing during class every Tuesday. Okay, um, so again, here's the information about the textbook. Textbook information, uh, you don't have to buy the textbook unless you want the physical copy. I have the textbook as in PDF form on uh, Canvas here, and I'll show you that in a moment um, after I go through the syllabus here. Um, so again, just information, uh, course description, general learning outcomes. Here's the grade scale. Notice that this is a uh, weighted average is your grade in class. So uh, exams, there's three exams, each 15%. Homework is 15% of your grade. Attendance is 3% of your grade. Um, and again, that includes participation um, and, uh, you know, showing up to class every Tuesday, okay? Um, and since we're meeting only once a week, that's going to be very important uh, for, for this class. Um, Excel projects are 7% of your grade, and then the final exam is 30% of your grade. Okay, lecture videos. Okay, so in this case here, um, I have lecture videos for this class. Since this is an online class, except for the one time that we meet, this is an online class. So I have all my videos online um, on Canvas. I'll show you where they're at in a minute. But 
this is a flipped classroom. Um, I developed this as a flipped classroom. Now, Flex is not flipped, but Flex is a little different. But my, the way I run my classroom is a flipped classroom, which means you're going to be uh, like an online class. You're going to be run uh, watching the lecture videos outside of class. I am not going to be lecturing when we get together um, one time a week. That's not the purpose that I'm using that class time for. Okay, so I'm not going to be lecturing, but it is your responsibility to make sure that you watch the lecture videos. I'm going to have them online. I'm going to have them basically in order of how to watch them and and as far as the timeline of how to watch them as well. Okay, so and I'll explain that when I get to them to the class schedule. But keep in mind that the reason why I do the flipped classroom is because it's better. Okay, I really truly believe it's a better way of learning. And the way, and it allows you to be able to come to class and ask me questions in class instead of me spending a lot of time lecturing. It, we're going to be taking that class time. So the one time a week we're going to come to class. I'm going to expect that you have already watched the videos for that week or the previous week. Um, and we're going to get together and we're going to answer questions. We're going to go through problems. Um, I'm going to answer your questions and basically, uh, oh, you can work on homework. Uh, a lot of the time that you're coming to class, you'll be able to work on your homework, uh, your Excel projects, and I'll be walking around. I'll be there as your facilitator, as your guide to help you understand the material. So if you've watched the material, uh, the lecture videos, and you've taken and you're taking notes, and again, which I highly recommend, if just like if you're sitting there watching, you know, in lecture, you're going to take notes. If you're a note taker, take notes, um, and and. Write down your question. So people ask me, well, what, what happens if I have a question and or, you know, I, I, uh, I forget my questions. I like to I like to have a lecture because when I have a question, I can immediately ask it. Well, that's fine. Um, but here, just when you get to a point in the video and I do something or I work out something, you're not uh, you're not sure what happened. Jot that down in your notes off to the side or annotate your notes with little comments, you know, or if you have a question, write that question down in your notes. It's something you get, you're not sure and you watch the video and you and you've kind of you, know, you don't know what happened. Watch the, you know, note take that. OK. And so when you come to class, uh, the very first thing I'm going to do at the very beginning of class is enter, basically go over any questions, problems, things you got stuck on every class grade. That's the way it's going to run. And so or and in fact, you can email me those questions. OK, let's before class starts, if you uh, well, I would suggest emailing me at least earlier in the day or a couple of days before, at least, you know, the day before. Uh, that way I can um, be more prepared and, and know exactly what problems you're working on. Or if you want to email me those questions prior, like let's say you uh, go over something and you're working on something or you get stuck on something or maybe you have a question about the videos and you're just not sure, uh, shoot me a quick email. Okay. During the week, Monday through Friday, I will respond pretty quickly. Um, give me 24 to 48 hours to respond to emails, but typically during the week, Monday through Friday, I respond pretty quickly, much sooner than that. Okay. Now, after three o'clock on Fridays, don't count on getting an email from me. Okay. Three o'clock after three o'clock on Fridays, that's the weekend for me. Um, I probably will not. Well, I can't say, well, probably, I would say probably um, I won't be responding to emails. I may respond to emails, but again, it just depends. So um, let me just put it that way, okay? I do check my emails from time to time on the weekend, but again, um, it's the weekend. Uh, I get I deserve a weekend off too, right? So um, what else? Okay, so... If you send me an email with a question about a problem, attach your work, okay? Please attach your work. Tell me what problem you're working on or what is it you're getting stuck on and tell me and, and attach to your email a file or, or a picture or something that shows me what you've done uh, or your work, how you worked it out or where you're getting stuck because that's gonna allow me to help you much faster than me trying to understand what your email, okay? So please do that. OK, um, let's see. And uh, so so the reason why I do the flipped classroom is because instead of you trying to work it out on your own at home, at least this way, you, we've got in the flex, at least with the flex class, 
We've got one day a week that you can bring all your questions for the, everything you've been working on for the prior week, and we can go over it together. And in that way, it's a more student-centered learning experience because you can go at your own pace in that what I mean is, hey, if everything's going good for you and, and you're understanding everything, great. You can use Class Prairie to work on homework, to go over stuff, to get ahead on stuff, to, you know, you know, whatever it is that you're working on for this class. Now, the only thing I do not allow is if you're going to bring a laptop, which I, I, I encourage you, bring your laptops. Bring your laptops. Because, again, like I said, you're going to have time in class to work on your homework, go over stuff, and if you get stuck on something, I'll be there to answer your questions. And I don't mind you guys asking questions. You're going to be working groups, too. You're going to be assigned a group of students that you're going to work with, that you're going to bounce things off, and I'll be the, the person that's going to walk around and, and help you if everyone is stuck. Okay, um, what else did I want to say about that? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to be able to be there to help you answer those questions. Okay, instead of you at home trying to figure out it on your own, like in a typical traditional classroom setting. Okay, so again, read this on your own. Um, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, oh, exams. There, like I said, there are going to be three exams. Uh, there will be no makeup exams. Okay? The exams will be held outside of class. So they're going to be online exams. Okay? So they're not going to be in-class exams. Okay? Just so you know. We're only meeting once a week. I, I got to be able to use that time to help you guys with what you're working on and not with test taking. So the online exams will be outside of class. And when those are going to be open... And when they're due is going to be in the syllabus and on uh, mm -hmm. and on Canvas. Okay, um, let's see here. So again, no makeup exams. So I give you plenty of time to take the exam. Uh, not only do I give you several days to decide and manage your time and figure out when is a good time for you to take the exam and start it, but I also give you plenty of time to take the exam during the exam. Now, with that being said, make sure that you are working out all of your problems um, on a separate notebook, on separate notebook paper, keeping track of that just in case in the rare instance that there's technical issues or you have internet connect connectivity issues, okay? You'll still be able to finish the exam and get everything done on a separate sheet of paper and then you can email that to me immediately after you're finished as long as it's within the time limit. Okay, so you, again, if I give you two hours and let's say during that two hour period you lose internet connection, well, one, you'll still have access to all of the questions. So you can still work out all the problems and then if you get the internet back within that two hour period, then you'll still be able to, you know, submit those answers and get those answers submitted with no issues. Okay, that's why I said in the rare case. I, I haven't had very many students, uh, in fact, only one that I can recall that, that lost their internet for an extended period of time. Um, now, unfortunately, that student decided not to email me and did not and decided not to communicate with me and decided not to work out the problems on a separate sheet of paper or on separate notebook paper and submit those or email those to me. Uh, that student got a zero on the exam. Okay, so again, um, I'm serious about that. Okay, so again, this is your fair warning just to make sure that you do your due diligence and take precautions. Okay, and and that's one of the things you can do. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, read through this, obviously. I'm going to let you read through that. Here are the exam dates. Okay, again, again, this may not be particular to your semester. But again, this is where the exam dates are located, but they're also located in the class schedule that I'll show you. So these are the, where the tentative dates are going to be located. Exam dates do not change very often. In fact, very rarely do I change exam times, exam dates. Okay, homework. Okay, homework, again, is important. No late homework is accepted. But I do drop the lowest, uh, where is it at, where is it at? Where is it at?
I know it's in here somewhere. Where am I missing it? I dropped. I know it says here that I dropped the lowest fan scores some or the lowest homework scores. Where are they? Oh, right here. The note. Okay, so I'll be dropping the lowest three homework scores. Okay. Now, I also suggest that you work on homework problems, exercises at the end of each chapter in the textbook. They're a great source of practice. There are no practice exams. Or wait, are there? Hmm. No, I don't believe there's practice exams. You can check, but... Um, I th actually, I think there might be. I'll have to double check. I think there might be. Yeah, it says here that there are practice exams, so I think I do have practice exams on Canvas. Um, but if there are no practice exams, that, that's fine too. That's why I'm saying that the suggested homework problems will be very helpful um, in giving you practice for the exam. Uh, let's see here. Uh, anything else? Excel projects. Okay, so there are Excel projects that you you do on your own. Uh, I'm, I don't have any problem with you collaborating and working together with other students, um, but you have to do your work independently, okay? And I mean do it independently. So a couple of things. Even if you don't have uh, any experience with Excel, that's okay. You can still get A's on all of the Excel projects you just make sure you start early and make sure you work on it every day before it's due. Okay, do not wait till the day that it's due to try to get it done. Okay, these are very straightforward and I consider these very easy points. But again, I give you more than plenty of time to get them done. But I get them done sooner rather than later. I'm telling you, do not procrastinate. Okay, um, I'm just warning you. In life, procrastination is not your friend. OK, um, it's always better to get things done early rather than wait till the end. Uh, let's see here. I will be dropping the lowest Excel project score, which means I will not be accepting any late projects, period. OK, um, so it doesn't matter. Again, all of these like homework uh, exams. Um, projects, Excel projects, and so forth. If you have technical issues, that's not going to be a valid excuse to turn it in late, okay? If you turn it in late for whatever reason, I'll just count it as your drop, one of your drop scores if it's homework, your, your drop score if it's the, an Excel project. So again, um, I'm doing this so one, it gives you a little bit of uh, breathing room if something does come up and you're not able to get it in, but realize that I don't accept any late homework for any reason, um, or quizzes, or anything like that. Uh, let's see, extra credit. Okay, so you do get extra credit. The extra credit's limited. You get extra credit for um, <clears throat> turning in the last two pages of the syllabus, okay? Um, and there's, so that's at the beginning of the semester, so pay attention to the due date for that, because I don't accept especially extra credit because it's extra credit. I don't accept anything after the due date. So make sure you get the extra credit in before the due date. Also, there's opportunity for extra credit to do extra credit essays. Again, the instructions are in Canvas for you to read. And again, if you have any questions about that, reach out to me. But again, that's going to be something you'll have to do on your own uh, for extra credit. And uh, other than that, just, just check it out and see if it's, uh, and let me know if you have any questions about it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Okay, switching classes and stuff like that. Classroom behavior. I'll let you guys read this on your own. Okay, here's the last data withdrawal. Again, this is under withdrawal. So again, this is make sure you look at this. Also, I have this under oh it's under additional resources. I have all kinds of additional resources for you. Um, again, read this at your leisure. If it applies to you, great. If not, that's fine too. Uh, here are the important dates again, okay? So these are all the important dates that may be of interest to you, okay? Uh, tips, here's my tips uh, to success. And again, this pertains to the math, but you could also apply it to 
uh, any other class. And here are the outcomes and things that you should know. So if you, have an, if you have an idea of what I expect you to know in this class, here's a nice list of all the things you should know. Okay, and it would, this would also be uh, uh, for the final because it is a comprehensive final. Uh, this would be a good checklist to make sure you know all this stuff uh, for the final. And then finally, the tentative schedule. This is uh, very detailed and I do that so that there's no question about when you should have something uh, watched. Even though, now listen to me, even though we're not meeting Tuesdays and Thursdays, I put this together like a Tuesday, Thursday class to give you some sort of like scaffolding to kind of like give you a pace of what you should be watching. Okay, so I've got for the first, uh, like for the first day, we're just going to be going over an introduction to class. So, to, so this, the 19th, will be an intro to the class. And, I, and I'm going to make it fun. It's going to be a very enjoyable class, in my opinion. And uh, it, But it's going to get your feet wet to get started. Now, I suggest you get started on the videos now. Okay, uh, why wait till the present? Because you have access to the videos now. Go for it. Start watching the videos. Get ahead of it. Okay. Uh, if you get ahead of things, I tell you, it makes things a lot easier in life if you're always on top of things. Um, so here, so Thursday, so again, starting on the Tuesday the 19th, uh, you should have by next Tuesday the 26th, you should have all the videos watched for these sections. Okay, so before you come to class on the 26th, you should have all of these videos watched, your notes, and you should already be starting working on the homework, the first homework, uh, because again, the first homework is going to be due the, the next Friday, okay, or that Friday of that week, okay? So again, just keep track of the syllabus. Um, I have all of the due dates on here when all the exams are. So again, I have it in here. I have a lot of redundancy, so I have the due dates here. And I also have the due dates in Canvas for you, okay? Okay, and that's it. And the last thing, here's last two pages. So the first, first, so the first page here is a student information sheet. Just basically something I can read to get to know you a little bit. Um, some things, interests, hobbies, majors, um, things like that, okay? And then, of course, the signature page, okay? So again, I, both of these need to be completed and submitted before the due date. Okay, you get five extra credit points and these are exam extra credit points. So these are points that are gonna go towards your exam points. Okay, so make sure you turn it in on time before the due date. Okay, and if you only submit one, then you only get five points. If you submit empty or blank sheets, you don't get extra credit points, okay? So please just take the time, fill it in, and uh, it's worth extra credit, okay? And you're going to get to know me throughout the semester, trust me, um, and so I'd like to get to know you guys a little bit. Okay, let's move on. So that's the syllabus, okay? So let me, now, let's go to the modules. Okay, <clears throat> so here's the modules. Now, this is your the meat and potatoes of the class, okay? So the syllabus and the modules pretty much consists of everything you're gonna to need to know for this class, okay? So you're gonna spend most of your time in the syllabus and on uh, uh, the modules in Canvas. So again, here's where you start. There's Here's the overview of resources for students. So again, go through these. Here's where you're gonna go for the welcome, uh, the welcome and orientation video that you're watching right now. Um, Canvas helpful tips. So I put some stuff in here to help you with stuff. Okay. Uh, here's some 142 Excel on, oops, hold on. I accidentally clicked on something. So here's the uh, online videos that might be helpful for you with regard to the the um, Excel assignments. I think, I, I think they're very helpful. Um, and, uh, oh, here's where you submit your last two pages of the syllabus. Notice the due date. Um, and the extra credit essays. Again, make sure you pay attention to the due date. And again, the it's optional. You do not have to do it, okay? But again, it's extra credit. And uh, hey, extra credit's always good. Okay, here's the textbook, okay? 
So again, you can open it up, you can download it on your computer, you can print it off if you want to, or you can purchase it for like 10 bucks at the bookstore and, and it comes and just get a three ring binder, like a two, like a two inch um, three ring binder and stick it in there, okay? Uh, if you're like me, I like to have the physical textbook. Um, in fact, since this is a stat class, you're gonna find that research actually shows that students or individuals that have a physical textbook actually have better reading comprehension than de dealing with an e-reader, okay? Um, so again, I like having the physical textbook. I think it's easier to um, notate things and to, you know, to know where things are at. Uh, I know you can bookmark things on a Kindle and things like that, but I'm still partial. Okay, so now, if we look at chapter one, Notice that this is the format was for chapter one. So I have chapter one textbook. So I have the textbook chapter right here. Okay. And then I have some guided notes that go along with the chapter. Again, this is optional resources for you. You don't have to do them, but I put these here because I think they'd be helpful to students. Um, and then I also have a, P a PowerPoint. Again, this is something that has that goes through the same material that's in the textbook but it also has other examples and um, that you can go through. So again, it's another resource for you to um, practice what you're learning and solidify in your brain, in your, in your memory of how things work, okay? And then here's homework number one. And then here are the lecture videos for this chapter. Uh, let me see here, do I? Hold on one second here yeah these these are in the wrong spot I did not put these in the right spot hold on wait okay so this is where I'm gonna get out of the student now that you now that we know what the student looks like here and I'll go back in a minute okay I need to move these around this should be up here after the PDF. Now, my lecture videos, by the way, uh, go to, with the textbook. Okay, I literally go with the textbook in my videos. Okay, so all the examples I do are from the videos for the most part. Okay, the vast majority of the uh, everything that I do goes hand in hand with the, the textbook, and I did that on purpose. Okay, so let me see here. Okay, so then chapter two, notice chapter two starts out with the textbook again, and then I have the guided notes. And then I have the frequency, the uh, uh, distribution PowerPoint, some guided notes here, and the homework. Yeah, so, oh, right. So then I have the lecture videos. Why are the lecture videos? Yeah, I'm going to have to reorganize these. But anyway, the point is, is that I have everything here by chapter by chapter. So as you're going through the syllabus and we're going chapter by chapter, as long as you're going through everything here for each chapter, specifically the lecture videos, uh, those are, are the lectures, okay? These are the lectures. So this is what you wanna watch the, in conjunction with the chapter because this is pretty much what I do in my lectures. They are lectures. Now, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Again, pay attention to this. Do not sit down and watch the lecture videos in one city. Since this is spread out, you know, you've got time. This is an online class. Um, chunk it up, okay? You don't have to sit there for 45 minutes and watch a video or an hour. Chunk it up to like bite-sized pieces. I would watch no more than a half an hour, okay? 20 minutes to a half an hour. So watch first 20 minutes to a half an hour and then take a break, okay? So watch a half an hour in the morning, another half an hour in the e e afternoon or, you know, whatever, and then another half an hour in the, in the evening, right? So chunk it up based on, again, based on your personal schedule, work, other obligations, what have you, okay? But you got to make sure that you watch the videos before the dates that I have them in, okay? So, uh, and the reason why I say bite them up is because research shows that it's better on your memory and recall and engage in the material if you just split it up into like bite-sized pieces, 20 to 30 minutes, take notes as if you're watching a lecture, and then after, you know, set a timer for like 20, 25 minutes. You know, if you set a timer for 25 minutes 
and the timer goes off, boom, you stop the video, go do something, go take a walk, go on Facebook, call a friend, watch some TV. Now, here's the thing, just take like a 10 to 15 minute break. Now, if you, if you, it, that's if you are going to sit down, let's say you're going to sit down for two hours and you're going to watch the video. So let's say an hour, whatever the case may be. Okay. Split that time up. So watch 25 minutes, take a 10 minute break, then watch the next 25 minutes, take another 10 minute break. Okay. Or you can watch a half an hour now and then a couple hours later, watch another half an hour again. That, that is much better than sitting down for an hour trying to drudge through a lecture, okay? So that's another, my golden nugget to you guys on how to, how to do well in classes. Um, okay, so that is the way the, the modules are set up. And then if you want to, you can go to uh, assignments. So all of the assignments are actually right in here. So if you want to go to assignments, it's actually here with all of the due dates. So you can, here's your attendance. So you get points for attendance. So again, make sure you are here and you participate. Okay. And so here's the due dates for all of the assignments. The exams, of course, you won't see the exams until later, but these are all of the exams that already have everything ready. Okay. And now... Let's go into, hold on, student view again. Okay, so now grades, again, grades are in here and your grade in the class is your current grade. So Canvas, I have a setup so that Canvas is gonna give you your current grade at any time throughout the semester. Uh, also, Canvas is set up to drop the lowest scores already. So everything is included. Um, the only thing that's not included that I include manually is the extra credit okay um, so I do that manually on the exams after the first second or third exam I'll, I will add those and I will uh, let you guys know when those are added okay um, other than that um, your exam your grade in canvas is the most current and accurate grade at all times um, let's see anything else um, yeah I think that's it that's all uh, Oh, again, um, emails. Oh, let me go back to the syllabus because I missed that. Um, so emails. Make sure that you email me from your student email, okay? Either directly from your student email account or you can go through the inbox here on Canvas and email me from Canvas. Okay, those are the only two ways you can email me. The email box, the email from Canvas goes through your student email at um, the College of Lake County. If you email me from a personal email, I cannot respond to you. It's an external email. I can only respond to emails from students through their um, CLC uh, email or through Canvas. Okay, those are the only two spots. Okay. Um, other than that, I think, um, I think that's it. Was there anything else that I wanted to say? Um, no, that's it. I guess uh, the only, oh, the only other thing that I'd want to say is, um, and I probably should have just said this at the beginning, but you can refer to me as uh, Mr. Kovalt, uh, Mr. C., Professor Kovalt, any one of those is fine. Just don't refer me to, to, to me by my first name, okay? Um, it's just, it's awkward. It's, uh, to me, I, I, it's not very professional. And um, I know other professors are more lax on that. I'm just not one of those guys that, uh, that it just, yeah, it just, it just doesn't, it feels funny. I mean, it just doesn't feel right when, when I have a student that comes up to me, hey, Mark, you know, it's, so don't do that. It's, um, I, I mean, I'll correct you the first couple of times. I have had students that have said that, uh, who've used my first name, and I just politely correct them. But just realize that, again, just because of uh, uh, boundaries and things like that, I'm just not, um, yeah, I'm just, that's just the way I want it. So uh, other than that, um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me anytime. I'm here to help you. I'm here to guide you. I want you all to be successful. 
Um, and again, success means doing your part and I will definitely do mine uh, because I spent a lot of time doing this and setting this course up and I spent a lot of time preparing so that it's as easy and as straightforward as possible. But again, if you, if you see anything that doesn't look right, um, if, you, if you're confused by anything, or if there's a mistake anywhere, please, 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 please reach out to me. Do not assume uh, if that, that it's correct. Okay, if something doesn't make sense, please reach out to me. It might be wrong. I might, I might have made a mistake. It happens. I'm human. But um, reach out to me and I'll, I'll fix it or I will explain it. If it is correct, I'll explain it um, and so on. Okay. If I make any changes to the syllabus or to anything else in the course, I will notify you via email. I do a lot of emails. So guess what? Check your emails regularly. Okay, very important. Check your emails regularly. That's how I communicate with you guys 99% of the time. And that's the way most professors communicate with their students. So it's a good habit to get into of checking your email, your student email regularly, every day, multiple times during the day. Okay, um, what else? Um, oh, and uh, yeah, well, there was one more thing. Yeah, I guess that's it. Other than that, I look forward to meeting each and, each and every one of you on the first day of class and uh, getting to know each and every one of you throughout the semester and helping you guys uh, be successful in this class because I, I know every one of you have taken this class to be successful. I know no one, I, I'm willing to bet, I'm, I'm willing to bet a lot of money that no one took this class to fail okay I, I've never met a student that said you know what I think I want to fail class you know what I, what would be a good class I could just go in and just completely bomb yeah let's take uh, stats no so I'm confident that every one of you can do well in this class uh, it's just a matter of desire and strategy and just putting doing the work and just not quitting so with that being said, have a great day, and I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care.